what's going on everybody it is a nasty wet day today but we still got chores to do so we got to come out here and get it done regardless of what the weather's like so today we are out here working on our chickens false teeth now you guys know chickens don't have teeth but what would happen if they could actually chew up their food process it grind it down a whole lot more well they would be able to get a whole lot more trace elements nutrients from the food they would also be able to digest it much better they would probably never have a case of the sour crop there is all kind of benefits to a chicken if they had teeth so today we're going to show you guys how we give our chicken false teeth y'all stay tuned now some of you guys may be thoroughly confused and some of you guys may have already figured out that we're talking about grit today but wait don't leave the video too soon just because you think you're done with the grit situation you gave it to your baby chicks they made it all the way through they're healthy and now they're getting plenty of natural grit are they are you sure your chickens are getting natural grit even though they're free ranging stay tuned guys we got a lot of information to share with you about false teeth for your chickens those of you that don't know what chick grit is or chicken grit basically chickens don't have teeth and they'll use small pieces of stones rock and sand stored in their crop and use it as teeth to help grind up food and things they eat it doesn't stay in there forever and it doesn't get digested it just moves through the system and back out the other end now there are many different sizes of grit for chickens each chicken or chick will utilize these sizes at different times you'll need chick grit with your baby chicks everybody needs to do this when you have chicks in the brooder you need to be giving your chicks chick grit add a mixture of somewhere around one fourth to one part when it comes to feeding baby chicks with starter feed but the only time you really need to be utilizing chick grit is when your chicks are at the age to where you're going to start giving them treats clover outside grass anything other than chick starter feed then you're going to want to go ahead and start utilizing grit regardless of the age if your chicks is old enough to eat the treats or the stuff you're giving them from outside then you definitely need to be giving them grit all right guys so for instance this here is one of our american breast baby chicks now believe it or not this little chick's only two and a half weeks old and she is huge for two and a half weeks old even at this age to be so young this chick is pretty big and is already starting to eat clover and grass so she's had her first taste of grit now like i said we mix it one fourth to one part feed because these chicks will mistake it for food they just started coloring chick grit in different colors old grit we used to get back in the day always come granite it was just crushed granite now it's all different colors and it's blended to mix in with chick feed to get them to eat it if your chicken is ready to start utilizing treats and grass and clover and things of that nature you got to give them grit along with it. You're going to want to use it for somewhere around the next eight weeks before you start introducing those same chickens into a different size of grit. Now remember, we do not recommend giving chicks grit in a small pan or saucer by themselves. Baby chicks, a lot of times, will see grit as chick food because some of the new stuff is a granite. It's usually red color or it actually looks like feed to get the chick to eat it when you mix it in with their feed but the problem with new baby chicks is if you just give it to them by themselves, sometimes they'll mistake it for feed and then you're going to get an impacted crop which is a really serious problem so which chicken owners need grit and which ones don't absolutely everybody needs to utilize grit in their chickens life even if you're free range in chickens now for you guys that free range chickens or open range like we do here meaning they are free range to a certain extent and then we move the huge area around so they can go all over the property they still don't have access to harder ground sandy area or driveways they're really not getting all the grit they need they're just out in open pastures most people think when their chickens are free ranging and they're out in the grass and the field scratching all day they do get some grit but a lot of times you'll find that if you'll just offer your chickens grit and they take it up, then they definitely need it in their diet because they're not getting enough out in open range fields. If you don't want to buy grit or you don't want to utilize grit in your chicken's life, the least you can do is actually offer your adult chickens a pan of grit. It's okay to offer them grit concentrated by itself because they will not overindulge in the grit. They know exactly how much they need and exactly what size. It's just the baby chicks that get it confused with food and overindulge. But 
if your chicken walks up to that pan and takes up grit out of that pan, it's not getting enough grit in his life, and you're going to want to go ahead and start supplementing some. Now, there are some feed that does utilize grit in with it, but you'll have to actually check to make sure and see it on the tag because not every good feed or scratch has grit in it. It's mostly going to be a grain or a scratch mixture. Those are the ones that has grit in them. You mostly won't find it in layer crumble or pellets. Hey everybody, we hope you learned something much in this video. I gotta hurry up and get back out here and get at it. As you can see, we've had a break in the rain. I can't do anything with a camera stuck in my hand. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you on the next one. So you guys keep on keeping on.